What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode here on our recon group build F9F8P Photo Cougar. We're going to go ahead and move on today, guys, with the rest of the photo equipment there in the nose. Now, last time we worked a bit on the fuselage. We did a little bit of painting there. We also did some work on the front nose cone, and we also built the front photographic equipment portion here of the nose. It looks okay. Did some wiring there, and I think I'm happy with that. So with the equipment done and the scratch built details there on the under side of that door plus the nose cone we can go ahead and get this thing i'm hoping finished off painted and then put together so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about colors i've been looking through my references and i've been trying to figure out exactly what colors would be for the equipment and all the wiring and whatnot and it's really kind of difficult to tell from black and white photos all i can see is that these are obviously not black you have maybe like a light gray or something like that maybe a darker gray so you can see you have two tones here this is a little on the darker side then this is of course lighter and this is darker and the wires look white so i I don't really know what to do. We have very light equipment. We have black frames. We have all this stuff. So I don't know what to paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to use my best judgment, try to find as many references as possible, and just see what I can paint. Even the instructions are no help. So you can see there are absolutely no callouts for any colors on the photo nose, on any of the equipment on any of the structural detail inside, there's nothing. And even if we go ahead and look maybe to the Canon nose, also we have nothing there. So if I was building the Canon equipped version, I still wouldn't know what colors to paint anything. It's kind of weird that Kitty Hawk would do that, but then again, it's Kitty Hawk, so maybe that's not so weird, I don't know. Then I also thought, well, maybe there's something on some fine print somewhere. No, there's nothing there. And then I thought, okay, well, let's go ahead and check the side profiles. Maybe they kind of point an arrow and they say, you know, use this paint. But I've looked over every single page of this and and only call outs are for the decals. So I honestly really don't know what colors to paint anything. So we're not going to worry about the instructions. We're only going to use what we can best kind of figure by using these black and white photos and a couple of color photos I found online. Now, the ones I found online show that this oblique camera is actually like a dark gold gray, very similar to what we use for the internals on the cockpit. So we're probably going to go ahead and use that for the camera bodies. And then we're going to come in with maybe some white or insignia white for some of the cabling. And then I think at that point, we're going to have to come back and maybe go ahead and do a little dry brushing just to bring out some of the extra details. And I think for that, we're going to go ahead and go with a neutral gray. It might actually look okay. But again, what am I supposed to do? You know, I can't find anything online about it. I've done multiple searches for different forums. I've looked at my reference books. Nothing has any sort of color call out. So like I said, we're going to stick with what we can kind of figure out. So let's go ahead and jump into our very first time lapse. I want to get all the detail painting done, all the wiring painting done. I want to also install the clear camera windows up in Inside the photo nose and fingers crossed this goes well you know so let's go ahead and just give it a try see what we can do
All right, everybody, we are back. And as you can see, our photo nose is all painted. Who knows if it's correct, but it's good enough for me. I'm happy. Now we can go ahead and move this and install it up into our front nose cone. Now I did also install the clear parts there, the inserts for our camera bay windows. And I actually used some Tamiya Extra Thin. Reason being is I'm going to have to mask these to go ahead and paint and sand and all that good stuff. And I don't want them to be easily popped out. And I thought if I used like a PVA glue or something, they might actually accidentally get pushed into the model. So instead I decided let's go ahead and use a little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin. I think that'll work well. Once we have this nicely squared away on the inside of the photo nose cone, we'll go ahead and take a little bit of extra thin Tamiya and just kind of run it around the outside lip right here, securing this back panel in place. It fits okay. It's not perfect, but I think I've done enough sanding previously to go ahead and installing and painting everything. I think we are good. So we're going to go ahead and just lock it into place with our Tamiya extra thin, and I think we are good to go ahead and glue this to the front of the fuselage. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Be right back. Now that we have our nose cone nicely glued on here to the front of the fuselage, Fuselage. You can see the windows are in place. Everything looks good. You can see the camera equipment through all those windows. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, one thing I did notice is that they have this extra part. Now, on the instructions, it shows this to be somewhat of a camera or some sort of optical device, and it shows it being installed here on the left side of the fuselage nose. I've actually looked at my references and it shows that it's actually on the right side of the fuselage and I can't move this because of the way it's molded and the way it's angled. It's meant to go on this left side. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to glue it down and hope for the best. We also have to install the fairing that fits down right below the very front of the nose. I don't know what this is for, most likely some sort of equipment or something, but we need to go ahead and sand it down and clean up all the edges and then glue that to the underside of the nose. I do actually have one little opening for like a locating pin or whatnot, but there's actually no locating pin on the part. So that doesn't really help, to be honest, you know? So you can see there we have a locating hole right there, but then again, the part has no locating tab. I don't know what they were doing. So we'll just go ahead and have to glue this as best we can. Of course, what I'm going to do instead, though, instead of trusting the instructions, we're going to go ahead and go to my references. And those are typically the best place to go for any sort of clarification. So it's going to open this up here. I'm assuming it's going to be right around the front middle section. OK, here's a really good shot of it. Looks like it actually comes up right to that front panel line right below photo lens. That should be easy enough. Let's go ahead and just kind of place this down. Luckily, it'll cover up that hole that basically does nothing. So that should be fine. A little bit of extra thin Tamiya. And that's not going to go anywhere. One other issue I've actually noticed here looking through my references is there's a trim tab on the left wing, but not on the right wing on the actual Cougar. On the model kit, both the left and the right wing are mirrored images of each other. So it actually has that trim tab on both wings. We need to go ahead and eliminate the trim tab on the right wing. So we'll do that with a little bit of super glue. And while we're in there, we'll also come back under the underside of the wing and fill some of the seams because there's this giant seam that sits right there in the middle of the flap and that's not supposed to be there. So let's get on with it. Let's get some seams filled up, get some PE installed, see how we do.
All right, everybody, we are back. And as you can see, we have our photo nose glued on to the fuselage. I use a little bit of my very thin super glue just to make sure that's locked into place. It's not going to go anywhere. And it is as solid as I can get it. So you can see all the photo equipment is nicely painted. Who knows if it's correctly painted, but at least it's painted. And then we have our windows glued in. And I think it's going to look pretty interesting. We also have our door that we're going to be gluing in eventually, not right away, but eventually. And hopefully you can get an idea that we do have a little bit of detail on the underside of that that we scratch built. So that's going to add a little bit of interest if one does happen to look up inside. I like that. And the fact that it has two locating tabs that actually function, that's also a plus knowing this kit. On the very front of the nose, I did have to do a little minor adjustment there on the very tip of the nose cone. As you can see, there's an opening right there for the midair refueling probe. I actually have it here off camera. Let's go ahead and grab that for you and you take a look at it. As you can see, it is actually keyed. So it's supposed to go in one particular direction. Of course, when you put that in that direction, it actually cants it somewhat up. So we'll have to come in, sand it down, make sure it fits correctly. And on the wings, we went ahead and did a little bit of work on the photo etch, got that installed, which didn't fit as nicely as I was hoping it was going to, but eh, it is what it is. And we also filled up this locating tab right here with some basic strips of styrene and some super glue. So that worked out all right. We also did some seam filling on the bottom of the wing right here. We're going to have to do probably a couple of passes on that. It's a pretty large gap, so that's going to take a little bit of effort but i think otherwise though we are looking decent but i think we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today thank you so much for joining us here on episode number eight for our photo recon cougar we finally have the nose cone glued on with all the camera equipment there in place it's painted who knows if it's correctly painted but at least it's painted we have our wings more or less in the right direction lots of sanding left to do though lots of assembly left to do we are pushing on slowly but surely. We'll get there. So until our next episode, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here on episode number nine for the F9F8 Photo Cougar here on the Recon Group Build. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.